Hello and welcome to a short demo of the Sidecars Containers Proof of Concept. Here I'm just going to be showing some initial work and how it currently behaves. None of this is final and subject to change. Um, here you can see we have an example deployment. It has two containers in it. One is a primary container, which would be some kind of worker container, and the other is a sidecar container, i.e. something assisting the primary container. Um, currently the sidecar is just marked with this sidecar true flag and it has a readiness probe defined um, which is just checking health. Now we're going to apply this deployment manifest. Um, on this screen you'll see in the top right we'll get logs from the sidecar and in the bottom right we'll get logs from the primary container. Now once I start it up you'll see the sidecar will start first. The sidecar is initially not ready so the primary container is not running. Once the sidecar starts passing its readiness check, which will do in a few seconds, now it's ready, the primary container should start up. And now the primary container is doing stuff. Um, so that's, that's the basic startup mechanism. Uh, at this point, it will just kind of continue running as if it were a normal pod. Now, if I delete the deployment, you'll notice that the primary container will receive a SIG term first and this will shut down before the sidecar container receives a SIG term and shuts down. See the showing down on the primary, it's shut down and then I'm dying, I'm dead on the sidecar container. And that is the basic uh, behavior of startup and shutdown ordering in regards to sidecars. Now I will demonstrate how a job behaves when using sidecars. Again, we have a fairly standard job spec. We have two containers, a worker container, which would be doing the kind of general work of the job, and a sidecar container to support it, which again is just marked with a sidecar true and has a readiness probe. Now, again, on the top right, we'll see the sidecar logs, and then on the bottom right, we'll see the worker logs. So if I create the job, first the sidecar will start, and just like with the deployment, we'll wait for that to become ready before the worker container starts. Now the worker container has started and is doing some job. Now the worker container is done. We see the sidecar container got sent a SIG term and has now exited. At this point, we can check on the job status and we'll see that the job has completed successfully as the sidecar was terminated because the, all the non-sidecar containers had also terminated.